Hey everyone, how's it going? In today's video, we'll get going on the new Limited series uh, so we can win this new car that is of course in the form of Acura NSX Type S. Alright, so as I already posted on my previous video um, in terms of the upgrade tree, how much it'll cost you, uh, what you win, things like that. So for that information, check out the other video. I'll put the link to the video in the description box below. Uh, but in this one, uh, we're going to do some racing. So let's get rolling, shall we? All right, you got seven days to complete it, of course. And upon starting, you get three hours of instant uh, service and instant upgrades on this car. So, earn an Acura NSX Type S by 100% completing this special limited series. The last of its kind, the Acura NSX Type S is already is ready to burn the asphalt. Are you? I don't know. Am I? <laughs> I guess I am. Um, the reward breakdown here. Uh, but as I've mentioned, time to race. All right, actually, time to upgrade first. So, now, as I stated in my previous video, PR requirement is not 61.9 as they have pointed out in their uh, uh, release notes. Instead, it is 62, which requires a slightly different uh, upgrade tree. And that is, of course, we got to max out the engine here, all five of them. So this is why it's nice to have those instant upgrades because uh, some of these will take a while to get done if you didn't have that offer. And then drivetrain, we need to get three upgrades. Basically remaining categories, we get upgrades up to third tier except for suspension, we only need to get one, just the first uh, stage racing dollar upgrade so we don't have to spend additional 46 but because the gold upgrade uh, to max out was like 120 right so we ended up spending uh, I don't know somewhere around like 70 some extra gold compared to three upgrades across the board upgrade scheme so it is what it is at least for the time being uh, not gonna wait for any kind of a update on the developers. It's in the grand scheme of things. It's not, you know, terribly out of line. I mean, it is a bit pricier, but, you know, it could be much worse. So anyway, there we go. Upgrades done. Time to, uh... Take the car out for some uh, for a spin here. See how this guy handles. Acura. Um, we have a couple of other Acuras, actually three other Acuras in the game. We actually have the non-Type S version Acura from I want to say 2017. Um, and of course we got GT3 version, uh, which is actually pretty good. But I would compare Acuras in the game similar to the way Porsches handle so they're not the grippiest and they're not the fastest so you can see so is it the most balanced um well it's more on the balanced side but it uh let's just say it, it is playful so um like Acura NSX GT3 I would say that's one of the more fun cars in the the IMSA GTD class um, and it certainly looks the part with the official livery being pretty uh, pretty funky so you know so that's what I mean you can uh, have some fun Uh, <laughs> apparently not very good at drifting. Uh, 
all over the place, my goodness. How not to drift, there you go. That's better. <laughs> There we go, just uh, two more cars to survive now. However messy it was, it was still good enough for the first gold trophy out of the 45 necessary to win this car. So one down, 44 more to go, yeah? <laughs> and of course, uh, this car is featured in a bonus series that is a single car bonus series, which is unfortunate because they could have at least paired it up with the uh, 2017 version, the original non-type S NSX um, in the series, or maybe paired up with the, all three NSXs featured in the game. But no, they they decided not to do that, which is, uh, I think, a missed opportunity. And if you're thinking, yeah, but those three cars are completely different performance. Well, in the game, there are many bonus series, well, many series in the game where the cars are not evenly matched at all. You know what I mean? So I say more cars, the better. Uh, anyway, up next, we got endurance. Let's see what kind of target distance we got to hit here. Should be around five. Oh, no. Oh, 3.5 miles. Oh, yeah, I'm using Imperial. <laughs> Not the metric. I forgot. On this other account that I use. My main playing account. Mind you. So, alright. 3.5 miles is about like 5 kilometers, right? So, it's like what? Multiply by 1.6? Because each... Uh, mile is uh, 1.6 kilometers somewhere around there so for traveling having to travel about that distance uh, if you want to go with the minimal distance then um, overtake five cars that'll place you about when the timer expires you cover about the target distance. I know, we've done so many of these with the bot training that, uh, or minimum distance coverage and whatnot. It's, uh, at this point, I mean, it's, a, you know, it's computer, right? So there's a pattern to it. So, obviously, depending on the performance of the car, uh, your distance may vary, but Generally speaking, and of course we get a lap bonus here. And drafting always adds another dimension to the race in the game, so that's cool. Okay, fine, I'll overtake that guy. Here, let's check out the cockpit view. Always the cool, best looking view. Not the easiest to race in, but in terms of the way it looks, definitely looks the part here. Yeah, these guys are traveling way too slow. Okay, there goes my uh, prediction or uh, my strategy. We're going to have to overtake a couple more than just five cars here.
All right. But now I shouldn't have to overtake any more cars. We have 30 seconds. That's a bit of time, isn't it? We, we're going to end up with the too much time on the clock. Yep. There we go. Once you hit the distance, don't turn around because uh, it will decrease your distance. So you will not win the first place. However, you can travel backwards. You notice how the distance is not changing. Exactly. So when you travel in reverse, like um, speed record, speed snaps, your reverse speed does not count. Meaning uh, it's more, uh, they should be more specific, huh? They should call it velocity test or velocity snap since um, difference being velocity versus speed. Well, direction matters. You know what I mean? So <laughs> I know semantics getting picky. Anyway, okay, two trophies down, one more to wrap up the stage one. For that, we'll be heading over to uh, outskirts of Milan, Italy, or Monza Road Course Two Lap Cup. All right. And was it like 16 car grid, I think? Uh, man, they. When the grid looks exactly identical, it's uh, I mean, not not as not as fun. I, I like some color in my uh, grid. Come on, guys. And this gray is pretty gloom-looking gray too, you know. Maybe uh, some basic vinyl upgrade is uh, is in in need here. Yeah. But we're also running up against the clock, you know what I mean? We got three hours to complete this series, ideally, so we can take advantage of the instant service. So, do I really want to spend time customizing this car? Eh, I don't know, maybe some basic basic upgrade on or customizing nothing fancy we'll see anyway there we go Yeah, handling-wise, it's not bad. I would definitely compare it to your typical Porsches in the game. You know, like, if you think about, like, the way the 918s handle, you know what I mean? They, they are fast, and they have reasonable grip, but they can, you can get the, you know, tail to be a bit playful, as it were. Like, uh, okay, I miss, I missed the finish line there. In terms of <laughs> figuring out where it was, it was closer than I thought it was. Uh, I was gonna send it sideways, you know, finish with style, but no, that kind of failed. But it's all right. Minute forty-one for that final cup, and ah, to my <laughs> final as in the tier one final. So, all right, still got a couple of service bars left before needing service, which is fine. All right, with the gold trophy number three, we unlock tier two, pick up a few racing dollar bonus, and we're heading on over to the next tier. So see you guys in tier two. Stay tuned.